Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben. Today, we are doing our first scooter on the channel, 2015 Ice Bear, and we have a very, very special rider. This is Vanessa. She's gonna be coming along the whole journey on changing every fluid on this little angel, the gear oil, motor oil. We're gonna do that. We're gonna use a flush and clean the carbon out of the rings. Definitely subscribe to the channel and save this video so you can learn how to get the best performance and lifespan out of your scooter. A lot of these uh, scooters are very similar. All takes pretty much the same fluids, 49cc scooters. So let's do it. All right, we're opening up our bottle of flush. This is like a little thin detergent. Ness is gonna dump it into here and we're gonna be using two ounces. And this is gonna circulate and get all the carbon buildup around the rings out and uh, basically gets sticky over the years. Perfect, and two ounces of flush. And now we're gonna dump in a little bit of flush. And now we're gonna throw the cap back on. All right, we got our gas tank opened up. Vanessa's gonna go ahead and put in one ounce of this PI Performance Improver Taco. Perfect. That's pretty much it. Perfect. Use our cute little Dominator Octane Booster. What this is gonna do is bump Octane by about four points. So you're gonna have a much cleaner burn. Uh, you're also gonna make more horsepower. If you want your vehicles to run longer, stay stronger, definitely subscribe to the channel. This little button right here, you'll see this little notification bell, and that'll give you a buzz on the next video. Is that okay? Yeah, should be good. Booster. It's that time to idle this this scooter, and uh, this time it's not a her this time. What What's his name? Maxwell. Maxwell, all right. We're giving Maxwell the whole treatment so you can start him up. And that's it. Now we just let Maxwell idle for 15 minutes. That's gonna circulate the flush and it's gonna help get that carbon around the rings. It loosens sticky uh, rings, carbon buildup from running mineral oil. All right, we're turned off. It's time to drain them. All right, so we got our 17 mil bolt, and that's our cute little drain plug and filter. So Vanessa's gonna crack, crack them loose and just get it so it's finger loose. That's good. Yeah. He's got some good thick rubbers. That way it doesn't burn your hand. And you're just gonna keep going until all that oil comes out. All right. And I'm gonna take off this plug. Just stop for a sec. I'm gonna take this off so it drains even quicker. Okay. We're just gonna take off the little fill spot. And I keep taking yep, it off. And go ahead and yep, just take it all the way off. It's just gonna drain straight down. And the little spring's gonna come out. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. So that's your motor oil. And that's our little screen, which we're gonna clean right now. We're gonna tip them to the side a little bit and see if any more comes out. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, so we got our brake parts cleaner and we call this Niagara Falls in a can and go ahead and spray each part. So we're just gonna spray it off that clip. Yep, and when you can always double check this O-ring. So you'll see it's got a cute little O-ring on it. Just make sure that that's not cracked and that way you know you're good to continue using it. If you do, you just get a new cap or a new O-ring. Your filter basically, and it's just reusable. Falls. Yep. Good. Wow, sufficient. Look good? Does it look clean? Yep. Okay. Awesome. We got our everything all clean and ready to go back in. Mm-hmm. She's got it. There we go. Awesome. It's gonna tighten it up, only takes about 15 pounds of torque. That's not going anymore. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. So there also has a drain plug, and we said, you know what, let's just make sure it's completely drained. So we cracked, we cracked them loose, and let's see, I think it started the leak. Let's take a look. Same 17 mil, and yep, a little bit more came out. So uh, definitely worth draining both sides. You got the regular drain bolt and that, and now I'll tip them over and see how much more comes out. Oh yeah, definitely got some more. 
So definitely drain both. Great. We got a nice fresh bottle of 100% synthetic scooter oil going in. Now this meets and exceeds all the specifications and it should show some on the back. If you flip it around, it'll show a couple of the specs and that's all your major, uh, all your major scooter manufacturers. And what makes this oil, you can go ahead and open it. What makes this really different is the 100% synthetic film strength. So an oil manufacturer can call a full synthetic, full synthetic. When it's only 25% synthetic, this is 100% synthetic. So we're gonna put a half a quart of this liquid gold in and we'll use that cute little teeny weeny funnel. And uh, this is kind of like bottle feeding a little baby goat, just nice and slow, just so pouring it five? in. Yeah, we'll go to the five. Okay. And uh, we'll put a half a quart in and then we'll start them up and see, um, and check our dipstick. So just go super slow, yep. And we're gonna put that half a quart in. Oops. Yep, it's a finesse. <laughs> And I'll throw this little thing underneath here. Okay. So we're good if it spills a little bit. Yep, and hold that funnel a little bit more upright and it'll just be, it'll, it'll drop it. Yep, like that, you got it. And it'll drop in real easy. And that's what we call the liquid gold on the channel. And what that stuff does is it gets your vehicles to run longer and stee wronger. That's what it does. And you're gonna see that in a minute when we go drive. All right. Beautiful. And you can check the level. Liquid gold. Yep, the liquid gold. And what's so great about this is you're actually good for double your severe service interval with uh, pretty much almost everything Amsoil has. So like the motor oil is good for one year, 25,000 miles on your motorcycles you're gonna be good for double uh, the interval. So like if you have a Harley and it says it's good for 5,000, you're good for 10,000. And then uh, Amsoil makes a special oil filter too that's a lot higher quality, 99% uh, efficiency at 20 microns. Now this little scooter has no oil filter. It's just got that little teeny mesh screen. And uh, so it's definitely important to change it. Uh, but you, you, know, you would be good with this oil for about double uh, this is, says 1,000 miles, you'd be good for 2,000 miles. And then obviously always check your oil level and make sure it's at the proper level. We got our half a quart. Uh, all right, good. We can turn them off. Wow, he feels he feels like he's puffing well. He's Sounded got, better. He's got good compression. <laughs> he's got good compression. <laughs> Let's level him completely. So um, how do I just push him forward? Is that what I do? Yeah. All right, so we just push him forward. Oh, to get it completely off? Yeah, just so he's level laying on his wheels. Awesome. So now we got a cute little guy completely leveled. We got mm -hmm. our kickstand here for safety out. And now we'll check our dipstick. And then once you get them all nice and clean, we'll go all the way in and you'll thread them all the way in. And you don't have to go tight and then that's it, just back it out. And then just hold them tipped down over the towel and let's check his level. So we're barely, just uh, twist the whole handle and, let, and let's see it as it focuses, hold it closer to the towel. Yep, and and twist it, just keep twisting the handle. So it's barely even touching the tip. So we're gonna go another third. Our 0.8 cordon, and we'll just show them the dipstick. It's all nice and clean. And that's our bottle right there, 0.8 quarts. And now we'll go ahead and thread them in and see what we got. And I'm holding the, comp the scooter totally level. And we should be good in the dipstick. Let's take a look. And just twist it a little bit. Keep twisting. Yep, keep going. Keep twisting. And hold it a little bit more tip down. Like, yeah, like that. Tilt, yep, like that. And twist. Keep twisting. And it looks good. Does it look like he's coming pretty much all the way up? Yeah. Awesome. Caution, you don't want to overfill. Because if you overfill it, when you tilt the scooter on the side, it can smoke and actually burn oil. We got our old oil and flush and it's going inside. We're gonna dump it out. This is all our carbon buildup. And this cute little guy's got exactly 11,000 kilometers. And uh, 
So that's the old oil, all those carbon particles. There we go. There, that's our drain plug. So we're first gonna open the fill and go ahead a little higher, one more higher, right there, yep. It's the one right in the middle and it's got a double eight on it, I think. Yep, and then it's got the washer. You can tell tubes, it's got that little oh. washer on the side, yep. So we're gonna, oh, that's tightening. We're gonna go, oh, no, no, that's tightening. Oh. We're gonna go the other way, yep. Yep. Okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. And we're gonna, so yep. This way? Yep, you got it. Yep, and now you can get them by finger. Yeah. Now watch out, it's gonna spill out. So we're gonna put our drain bin underneath. And now, you're gonna go ahead and just open them up and you should drain a little bit. Because I think he was overfilled and basically all it is is just fill to overflow. And I looked up on the 2000, uh, that's gear oil, 2020, 21 model, I believe, calls for 0.25 liter, which is basically 8 point, I think, 3 ounces. So it's basically a cup of gear oil. We're just going to kick him up on his back peg so he's a little higher. Awesome. And now we're good. And now we're going to drain the drain bolt. And we're going to crack it loose. So you can go this ahead one? and, yep, you're going to crack that little little guy loose right there. And now you can get the pan underneath there. Uh, eight, about 8.3 ounces, which is 250 milliliters if my conversion's correct. And let's see what we got. Boy, that little guy threads for miles. Yeah, right. Look at that, nice and clean too. So we're getting to it early. And, and there we go. Awesome, and now we'll just We'll hold them up level and we'll shake them around a little bit. I don't think much more is gonna come out. We got our gear oil. Now this is what they call the easy pack. And this is 100% synthetic gear oil as well. Same thing, just like a full synthetic. They can call it full synthetic, full synthetic when it's only 25% synthetic. This is 100% synthetic gear oil. And uh, she's gonna use the tip on the end of that to puncture it. So we'll take off this little cap. And I already snipped the tip so we can shove it in and squeeze it in, so just shove that in there and you're gonna puncture that. And they actually changed the packaging now, so it's, um, it's now peelable, and now we're good. And now you can just peel that out if you want. Yep, just get rid of that. And that should be A good. Tip. Yeah, you should, you should be good. If, it, okay. if it's not falling out, just, oh. just so it doesn't fall out, yeah. Okay. And just throw that in there, yeah. And as long as that doesn't fall, we're good. Just thread that on. There we go. Yep, you can just peel it off. Awesome, that's fine. Uh, okay. Yep. And now we just thread that on until it's nice and firm. Perfect. That All right. Good. So, so this is our 100% synthetic gear oil, and flip it around. And you, you'll notice there's not many specifications for these little scooters. I found something that said something about machine number 10 oil. And so basically they're not that picky. You just use gear oil. That's all this is, but it's a lot better because of the hundred percent synthetic film strength. So once again, you're going to be good for double the severe service interval with uh, this higher end film. So now we're going to put this pan underneath the corner right here. So we're going to catch a little bit of the residuals and then you're just gonna squirt through some fresh stuff and we're gonna get the residue of the old stuff out. So go ahead and shove that tip in the fill plug and then just start squeezing. And you're gonna see a little bit of it go through and it's gonna come out, yep, and it comes out through the top and out the fill plug and you can see it running nice and clear. So we know um, all the little residual of the old stuff is out. So now we're gonna go ahead and we can cap off the uh, drain plug. Okay. And these are all aluminum and very soft and uh, 10 millimeter is these bolt sizes so you don't have to go tight at all. So we're just gonna tighten that up. That's good, Thank perfect. You. All we do is just fill until he overflows. So now you just, until yep, just shove it in and just start squeezing until he's all the way full and he starts bubbling over the top. And the easy pack is really nice uh, because you don't have to worry about pumps breaking on you. 
and you got the tip, which you can snip to the right size. And then also too, if you get a little rubber hose, you can also stick a hose on the tip of this and squeeze it in differentials and stuff. Good. So we overfilled it, which is a good thing. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, just make sure he's level and we're going to let him drain down until he doesn't drain out anymore. Okay. And then we'll cork him off. Okay. And this is basically like a differential on your car. Um, you don't want to overfill it and then put the plug on because it can overheat. So basically you just, you just do that. So what we'll do is for now, let's go ahead and uh, cork him off. Just cork him off, even though he's not full, and we're gonna level him so he's completely level. So just put the cork so, in. Yeah. And when you have your scooter uh -huh. kicked with this guy, with the double guy, I don't uh -huh. know, not the side one. Uh -huh. If the back wheel is touching, that's not level. All right. If the front wheel is touching, it's also not level, but if they're both hovering. Right in the middle. You know it's gonna be level, and it always wants to. Tip one way or the other. Tip towards the back. So if you just have. Hey, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> Can I use your knee pad? Yeah, I can just you're good. Shove it underneath yep. The back so tire. we're gonna shove this little kneeling pad underneath the tire, and, now and that's gonna hovering. that's gonna that's got them hovering. Yep. So now you can see the fronts hovering, and that's underneath the back. And so the wheels are even though. Yep, the wheels are even. So now we're gonna drain them level, and he's pretty level, straight up and down. So now we'll do our final leveling. So, take so it you off. can yep, you can take that off and just let him drain until he stops overflowing, and then you just cork him off. Yep, and also get the washer. Oh, yes. Yep. And it's not much more that's coming out. And uh, I found on the website, it says it holds um, 0.25 liter, which is basically like eight ounces, uh, a little over eight ounces. So we'll just wait until he stops overflowing. Okay, so it's the second one that's the end, not the, what's this one? Just holding it That, in yeah, that's just the, the gearbox case. Okay. And, um, and there it says right there on the gear rail, there's a little, little oh. thing, change every thousand miles. And it calls for an older specification. Got some animal participation. It's okay. It's our, it calls for GL3, which this is just a, a newer specification, much higher GL5, which is your standard gear oil now. And uh, it looks like he's pretty good, so I would just say wipe him a little bit with a towel. Just wipe this level here. Yep, just wipe him up a little bit. And, yep, and let's see how much more he's leaking. Oh. He's just barely leaking, so one more wipe and just cork him off. Yep, you can see he's just barely, barely leaking. We're good. You can cork him up. And that's it. It doesn't hold much at all. That's all the, the gear oil in the pan there. Looks about eight ounces. And then uh, you can Thank you. tighten up. And you just go, we'll just go firm to where it's just firm. Perfect. That's it. That easy. With the Niagara Falls in a can, go ahead. And that's so dirt doesn't stick to the scooter and doesn't smell. Just hit everything. All, all where we smudged it with oil on the case too. Yep, part. all on that. Yep, hit everything that got gear oil on it. Go ahead. Awesome. Perfect. For old gear oil, we're just going to dump that out. Looks to be about uh, eight ounces. And uh, yeah, gear oil looked pretty good. All right, this is what's going to let this little guy live life more complete and happy. And you say, what is it? This is the MP Metal Protector. This drives out moisture from locks mechanisms. It's also a uh, lubricant for all metal hinges and locks and all these little metal parts. So everything that's metal, we're gonna spray right now. So you'll see like this little metal hinge where this, this little thing goes. We're gonna hit this cable. So show them how that cable kind of sticks. Just give it a little spin and it barely comes back. Do it again real slow. And it just barely comes back. Same with this one. Yep, so now you're gonna shake this. And now you're gonna go ahead and you are going to um, take the lid off. We're gonna put the straw inside the spray hole without pointing the spray hole at anybody so they don't <laughs> get it in their eyes like Jim Carrey when he puts that stuff in mask, he goes, and it goes the wrong way into there. Oh no, that's that's dumb and dumber. <laughs> and that goes in there. Okay. Perfect. 
and now we're just going to start nailing everything mechanical. So right here in this little teeny weeny crack, you're going to spray in there. In the crack. Okay. Yep. Yep. A lot? Uh, just spray it and start throttling. Just start going. Oh. Perfect. That's and also now, pumping gas. I don't want to do that too much. Oh, all right. Yep. You don't want to do too much. And then we're going to go in this little hinge. And now you can spray and, yep, and move that a little bit underneath here. Yep. And let it soak in. And that's a penetrating oil. Yep. And you can also, you can hit this little, this little adjustment. This is kind of loose right here. And we so spray it. Yep. Spray that cable. Just like that. And just go and just grab it and squeeze it. Yep. Awesome. Please see the metal cable right there. Just point to it. Yep. Right into there. Shoot it right into the cable itself. Yep. Okay. Yep. There. Go ahead and throttle it a little. Perfect. All right, we're good. So that's in there. We'll go over here into this cable if I can, I don't see it. It's more tucked away. Yeah, it's more tucked away. Can you spray it on something bad? No, it can kind of- Not really. Anything. You don't want to get it into sensors too much, but you want to get everything mechanical. And that's more gas. Yeah, we don't want to- Oh do that. yeah, we don't want to overdo it. We got that good and we got that. Should we lock this one again? And get this to fall down into there. We're good. And now we're going to hit the actual cable down here somewhere. I just heard that throttle cable going. So where is the throttle on here? If you come over here, we might be able to see it. Um, let me see here. Oh, there's the cable right there. So now you're going to spray or, or you got, you got video going. Yeah. All right. Take it, so, spray. yep. So I'm going to spray right here, right on this mechanism. And that's the cable and that goes to the throttle and that's going to make it a lot better. And we can actually adjust that play there. See that play. See that cable is loose. We're going to adjust and, and tighten that up a little bit. So it's not as sloppy. We should be able to get that firmed up a little bit. I think, this here might do that by backing this out a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if that, I think if we back that out. So this was originally right here. If we back this out a little bit, it should tighten it up a little bit. There's a little better. And let's see, eventually it'll just unthread to where it's off. So you don't want to do that. You want to keep it. So it's somewhere in the middle and then you lock it down with this. And when you push these two together, it shouldn't move. So we got that play. So now we'll see if we can go over here and adjust it a little bit on that little teeny thing there. That little teeny weeny guy right there. And all we got to do is back them out a little bit. I don't know how much he'll back out until we move that little rubber skirt out of the way to do that. Um, let me see if I can, if I have a flathead screwdriver, I can just move that little piece of rubber to see it. I can grab you one. Um, we have two I just don't know how much I want to screw with it because it's, it is pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's not. I'm okay to leave it. That's, yeah. I'm, I'm really okay yeah. with that. I can go out just a teeny, teeny bit right there. Do you still want me recording? No, we're good. We're good this down the road. If you ever take any of these little bolts off, they'll be a lot easier hmm. to take off if you ever have to replace a part. Okay. And it just do that. See how it's rusting. Yeah. That'll prevent that from rusting. Yep. Here. Oh my God. Yay. Wow. We got to get, don't want to hit any locks. So that'll make this lock open a lot easier. Shove it right in. And that's it. It's time to do the silicone spray. For all plastics and rubbers, it keeps them nice and moist and keeps them from cracking. So this little guy sits out here in the high heat all the time. Keep well, it. it's time to protect them. Go ahead and give it a little shake. And we're gonna go ahead and start spraying all our plastics and rubbers. With the hose or um, with the straw? Or we'll, no? We can start without a straw. Okay. So we can hit like the grips. You can do your grips. 
and that's going to keep those from fading and you can get every little nook cranny corner every little part yep not going to hurt nothing wow okay there you go cool and now you can hit um anything rubber is this a flexible rubber piece this right here is that rubber you can hit this. that yep hit that little rubber molding and it's going to really shiny it up quite Oops, a bit sorry. it's okay and just hit every little piece of rubber on the scooter. Well, that's pretty exciting. Yep, even the sidewalls of the tires, rubber grips, handles. Oh yeah. Yep, awesome. Beautiful. Good. Just pepper it all. You can hold it maybe eight inches away and just blast it everywhere. Oh, yep, okay. the little plastics. This is our back fender. Let's see what it looks like after the silicone. Pretty. Oh yeah, look at that shine. Feel it, it's even slippery. Uh, spray the dipstick. Dipstick. Yep, that's plastic. And you got our fenders, yep, spray all your fenders. All your plastic fenders and all that. Up into here, plastic reflectors. Plastic, 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 everything plastic, yep. Okay, even the blue part, like the actual? Uh thing itself? Yeah, if you want to, yeah. If it's plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. People, this scooter is made out of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> is that plastic too? This yeah. is plastic too. Plastic scooter. <laughs> you know what? I think we didn't even get enough on this little angel. You want two cans of silicone spray. <laughs> and, then, and then tomorrow you can you can like wipe them off because dust will naturally stick. Yeah, you can do the sidewalls, yep. You can do the sidewalls and show how it pretties it up. And your plastic cables, your cable coverings are good. Yep, plastic, a little plastic air box. All of this? Oh, uh, that's metal. That's metal. And that's all plastic. Panel, yep. Get a little bit of residue off and all that does is keep dirt and dust from sticking. And now you see that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shine. Yeah, look at that. That's happiness right there. <laughs> and I call these uh, aerosols, I call these candies for your car. That's basically <laughs> what they are. So it's like little candies. So these two I call the Power Duo. They make more power, better performance, less pinging and knocking. And these combined on the synthetic oil protection machine made 6.4% uh, more wheel horsepower and we're gonna try it out on the scooter. So we already got the octane booster in, we already got the fuel additive in to clean the valves and injectors, and uh, was just carbureted, so it's gonna clean the carburation. Now we're gonna put in the upper cylinder. So we're gonna open up this teeny skinny little bottle. Now this is for any type of small engines. It can go in your car, it can go in your scooter, and uh, it's a little weird seal. You might be able to peel it by finger. You should be able to get it. And it's got the gasless gas cap compatible tip. So not only can you stick it in, you can also yank it out. And we're gonna be just throwing one ounce right into the gas. She's got, we sprayed in the MP, should open Ooh, real easy now. Much nicer. Nice. And now we just throw in an ounce in there. And if you use too much, it's not gonna hurt anything. You're just gonna kind of be wasting it. It's just an upper cylinder lubricant and it's gonna allow it to run. And then we'll get the funnel if we need it. Or no, do you think, think, you, think okay. you got it? All right. She's got a good steady hand. Great hands, perfect. Throw it in every single full tank. Mm -hmm. And this keeps also from ethanol separation. So ethanol, water, and fuel all separate. And basically it's called a phase change and that can leave uh, calcification in the clunk in your gas tank and it can cause corrosion. So when you run this, it's gonna keep you free from that. It's also gonna run smoother and lubricate those upper rings that don't get lubrication from the crankcase motor oil that's inside the motor this is actually gonna lubricate where the fuel is. All right, the moment of truth, the test ride. So this is it. Let's see. That was All better. All right, let's do yeah, it. Go ahead. Better. And just say how it feels and go down maybe 300 feet down the street and then ride back and just tell us how it feels because you can talk as you're going. This microphone will work as you're riding. Okay. It's good for about 800 feet. So when you turn scooter engines on, they rev high and you want to wait to ride it until it drops lower. Like, there we go. So now I can ride it once the sound drops to a slower. So it's like a little teeny idle up like on a car. Yeah. That's cool. All right, Maxwell, here we go. Yeah. 
yeah, it's uh, significantly better. Like a brand new scooter. Everything is way better. It feels like a brand new scooter. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> wow, I want to ride him. Can I ride him? Absolutely. This is it. He's Let's ready do for it. you. Let's do it. So it's already rolling. Okay. Let's do it. <sighs> Wow, this thing runs good. Wow. Super smooth. Brakes work pretty good. Nice. Wow. Handles pretty good too, surprisingly well. I've always watched these scooters ride around on the strip a lot. All through the years, I used to drive a cab and Uber and Lyft and uh, finally riding one for the first time. Handles really good. So it'll be cool to see uh, as uh, Veronica rides it more, it'll be neat to see how the fuel mileage is and how, um, uh, I would say how the fuel additives kind of work as they do their job is it takes a little time for the fuel additives to work. So it'll be cool to see, but yeah, it maneuvers well, feels good, kickstand, goes down like butter, yeah. doesn't make any noise. I mean, I'm, He's very I'm happy. happy. It'll be cool to do the little follow-up. So <laughs> we'll definitely be back and uh, I'll take this. And any closing notes we should do? Any, 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 anything we should say before we say um, goodbye until next time? I'm just super happy. Maxwell's happy. I love it. Yeah. I love <laughs> Thank it. You. Was Thank it, you. Yes. Was it, was it a big surprise? Um, Would you say? The yeah, way it it's, feels not, it's night and day. It truly wow. is. Yeah. Wow. So we'll be back to do some brake fluid. So check out this video here in the middle. That's on the brake fluid. And we'll see you back next time on synthetic oil protection. Remember, if you want to try the products, you'll see everything down in the comment description section, just click M-O-R-E, more, and you'll see all the links. You get the products at the best price as the 25% off preferred customer. If you're on a smartphone, you can actually see the description section right here. You hit that little reverse arrow. That'll take you down into description, and then you click on more, M-O-R-E, show you all the links here. When you use my link, not only will you get the 25% off, you'll also attach me to you, so in the future, I can always answer all your questions about improving the performance and lifespan of your vehicles by choosing all the right fluids. And uh, the best part about using that link is I'll always be able to answer your questions about improving the performance and lifespan of all your vehicles. So this is what I do all the time. So we'll see you back next time. Thank you. Yep. See ya. Check it out. Bye. If you want your vehicles to run longer, stay longer, definitely subscribe to the channel. This little button right here, you'll see this little notification bell, and that'll give you a buzz on the next video.